Welcome to the start of my bench updates. Now we're going to start the bench updates with the 88mm. Now this is a project I started a long time ago and it started off as a desert scene. Uh, then I changed my mind, uh, we was going to do a Russian scene. Then I changed my mind again and now we're actually at a anti-aircraft uh, battery uh, based somewhere in Europe where I'm not going to disclose that because that's top secret but it's based in Europe somewhere uh, coming to the end of winter uh, early parts of spring so there was still probably snow and uh, stuff like that laying around the reason I'm base basing it on that is because of my figures. This is the Trump, not Trumpeter, sorry, this is the Dragon 88mm and the actual figures are all in winter camo, i.e. the whites. So I'm having, well I was starting to look around for a new set of figures to actually go in into this and I couldn't actually find the set they all came with I had to buy another anti you know another 88 millimeter gun which I didn't want to do so that's the reason why I'm basing it at the uh, sort of like end of winterish time thaw and things like that so what I've been doing if you saw the other video uh, quite a lot's been done actually all the soil's been put on I've started to put some of this uh, grass on which is from the army painter uh, not bad not bad I'm uh, you know it's good good grass but it's all the same length and it's little tufts and it's not really realistic to my liking so I've ordered some this uh, grass that you can cut your own length which sounds pretty interesting it looks extremely good on the pictures on the internet but we'll see when it turns up so hopefully I can get some longer grass and some medium lengths and do it laying down and different angles and standing up to make it more realistic because as you know grass just doesn't stand upright it does lay flat and everything else so that will be done all the way round that's the plan anyway. Uh, products I'm going to be using on this. Uh, to start off with, we'll go through the products what I'm going to be using, uh, which I've bought to do this. To start off with, we've got AK's uh, puddles, mucky puddles. Uh, I have used a little bit of it down the bottom here as a tester, and it works pretty well actually. I'm quite I'm quite impressed with it. Uh, another one is from their diorama range. And that's uh, this is mud effects, wet mud, and this is splash effects. But this will be used on here as well. And also, I've got a couple of these snow sprinkles and snow micro balls, which I'll be using just to try and get. I don't want too much snow, but just a little bit here and there around it. Uh, they're the products I'll be mainly using as well as oh, there'll be a number of other ones I'll be using uh, would you believe engine oil that's a very good one for making sort of like water effects as well especially on wood and surfaces like that and another good one as well for doing sort of uh, water effects when I, when I find it oh it's already out is the fuel stains by AK that's another very good one but uh, when I do the bits and pieces and then I'll actually show you what they look like uh, actually used on the diorama so as we're going around as you can see I've got the uh, soil done inside here that's going to be made uh, slightly more wetter looking with probably a few puddles and bits and pieces I started to do some mud effects on the actual duck boards that go round as if they've been trampling into the mud and then onto the duck boards 
I am thinking of uh, getting a few ammo case lids and laying down uh, so they would have been walking on them. The actual uh, slip trenches that actually come into it, uh, I think I'll have to turn you down just a little bit. They've got some, uh, I've done some mud effects on them. I've also got the pieces in here to put in and I'm not quite sure yet but I think there might be a little bit of camouflage netting over the top of them slip trenches coming in into the gun but I'm not sure yet it, that will be all sort of like uh, bits to finish it off with this slip trench is the same duck boards are in and they've just had a little bit of mud put down there not finished yet but well on its way I started to put some different bits and pieces of uh, uh, vegetation in there because uh, you really need different heights than that so all in all it's gone it's got quite far ahead actually in the last uh, day or so I've done quite a bit the figures uh, like I did mention they actually came with the kit and I'll, I'm quite lucky here because this one if you can see he's taking a shell out of the rack which works really well we've got two uh, at the back here both holding shells and we've actually got the gunner himself which he's not sat on the seat properly because he's got a rather large skewer uh, stuck up a piece uh, behind at the moment ready for painting so that's how this stands at the moment and I will we'll be doing another update in I don't know about five or six days time hopefully when I've got a bit more uh, done and finished and like I said at the beginning of the video I want to get some of these smaller items off my bench and put to bed because I've got quite a lot of new builds planned which I'd like to start posting up uh, as I could get along with them there is uh, one build that I will be introducing in the next week which I will say now and that is the Road to the Rhine extremely big diorama that is 2.4 meters long by 300 wide and as the title states Road to the Rhine it is a road uh, but with a, uh, a very large water uh, river and bridge destroyed in the center of it but I will be doing a video on that to introduce you to to that so you can see what's going on I have got some photographs of it when I assembled it because it's partly assembled but nowhere near complete nowhere near complete but uh, I should put, all, put, put a video together so you can sort of see how it was put together the size of it and uh, everything else that goes along with it. The other uh, diorama that I've got to finish off was one that I did oh god years and years ago which ended up in the bin and my young lady recovered it. Uh, there's not a great deal to be done on that one uh, it's mainly replace uh, the actual vehicle that was on it and mainly just sort of finishing off bits and pieces but they're all items that I'd like to get cleared off my bench uh, so I can move on with the rest of my stuff the rest of the builds that I've got planned which I've got quite a few there is one build that is going to be put in uh, very soon uh, that is for uh, John Moore he's actually doing a group build uh, Operation Torch and I've entered into that one I've got a vehicle that I would like to build and I will be doing a small diorama base uh, a desert scene uh, which I will uh, show you as, as I'm building it and as, as we go along and the final look of that as well but that that will be the only one that will be pushed in amongst these because uh, the build is only for I think it's about two months it runs for so I'd like to get started and get that one done 
because uh, John is a very very good friend and uh, I want to win whatever kit he's got up for grabs so <laughs> no 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 yeah I do, I do. no let's, let's, I'll admit it I want to I, I want to win it so that's my update for the 88 and uh, my apologies for rabbiting on about other things but uh, like I say, thank you very much for joining me and hopefully you can join me on the next one.